Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're back to discuss today's Patriots versus Denver Broncos game, which the Patriots lost. Absolute for... garbage fest. Wow. It was terrible. I mean, yeah. before I had a chance to say <laughs> it was garbage. Yeah. They played horrible, and you know what? They kind of deserved it. And I'll tell you why. Because for fault, <laughs> when, when a team plays terrible in the first two quarters, doesn't score anything, get, gets their butts handed to by like the worst team in the NFL, they sort of deserve to lose. Is it, is and they have like two, like two minutes left. They failed it because he made Cam Newton throw it. They were like the. I think they were, like, at the 30, and the guy was standing, like, the 10-yard line. He completely missed it. It's like, and he was, like, right. But I think at the same time, that should have been called, like, um, a pass interference call because the guy was on top of him. He was on top yeah. of him, and that should have been a pass interference call. And I think I think that's probably what cost them at the end. But, like, the whole game itself, like, it was just on their fault. But what also was... I shouldn't say it was not their fault, but the COVID cases as well with obviously but the game being canceled, they had like no practice for like two weeks and and they didn't practice until yesterday and then half this morning, so they didn't really get as much practice time. So they're I'm sure some of them were a little bit rusty and all that. But it was just a garbage fest. It's like what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. First of all, Denver's not the worst team they they're like like uh, 14th or no to be like 16th or 18th in the league so they're not quite okay the worst Patriots actually have a worse record than them now so even though they're both tied Denver holds a tiebreaker over over New England so technically Denver is better than New England right now as of right now uh, right this second um, as you said today's game was quite terrible then De- De- there's Denver's, like four turnovers I mean Denver's offense other than the you know the rushing game was, was decent I mean Drew Locke should not beat the Patriots. I just, I'm sorry. I just, I, they, he got lucky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Patriots played, the, like, it was really strange. It clearly could tell that no practice in it and missing. How many people were they missing? They've been missing a lot of players. Oh, my it. God. Uh, I don't know who. They, they met, I know um, Sony Michelle, he's out with COVID right now. Um, David Andrews, I think is his name. He's the defensive center. Um, he's out with COVID as well. Then, who's the third player? There was also another third. Yes, yeah, so we had uh, Kyle Davis, defensive lineman. No, that's oh, inaccurate. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's inaccurate. You're right. That's not. That's not for this week. Actually, yes, it is. But they didn't update it. I think there's no inactive. Is I mean injured? I don't know. That's just the people not scheduled to yeah, play. Yeah, the the, 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 that's just the people. Yeah, they're not not playing. You, you need the injury list uh, thing. Uh, or the yeah, so, let me see if it's called the uh, the COVID list. Yeah. Oops. You press the wrong button. I here. know. I know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there was a few people out today with COVID. But the problem, the thing is with these, so Michelle, Shaq Mason, and Derek Rivers were all out today, and I think. The other guy said David Andrews, I think, was out today, too. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm, I should have looked this up before we started this, but whatever. Uh, yeah, but anyway, they were all on the COVID list. And the thing with the testing is, is, like, they said, like, when these players had them, like, they got tested positive but not showing so symptoms. Also, James Ferentz also was... Yeah, he was on the list as well. There was a whole bunch of them. Yeah. But the Brian thing is, Cohen. I don't know. I don't know how they're getting this virus because the rules are like you can only go to the feet, the stadium and travel and go to your hotel room. Like you can't be going to bars, restaurants, stuff like that. So I don't know how they got it. I think the whole thing started was they said Cam Newton went out to dinner with Stephon Gilmore. The Gilmore ended up getting well, it. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then they said that, that they didn't actually go out to dinner. They there's no. It was a Gilmore's wife came uh, came out and said that they didn't actually go out to dinner. So, so she didn't like, clarify if they had dinner together, even if they were one of the, you know, the at home one of their homes. Um, she nobody could really clarify. The two just said they didn't go out to dinner. So they probably had takeout. Well, whatever. I mean, it it just shows that without practice, you know, really having any solid practice, missing a lot of guys. I, I think it was at least eight guys for the starters were off for the Patriots. That's so they, they can think of. Um, not, 
I mean, even people yeah. today that play like like Nikhil Harry, he didn't have a good game. Julian Elliman, he only had like one good play. Um, Newton kept just kept getting sacked and kept missing. But the he had, he led the team rushing. He had seventy six yards rushing. Um, the rushing game. Brian Izzo was out injured. Um, yeah, he got he hurt. Dur- he, he, he got hurt during the during during the game. James White had a few plays, but otherwise. COVID. Yeah, everyone has coronavirus. They're getting comments from the <laughs> peanut gallery off camera. Um, the song off camera. Yeah, right da- da- Damian Harris, uh, who's, I was having high hopes for him. He only had 19 yards on six carries. So That's terrible. Uh, I mean, they had 25 carries for 117 yards for the entire game, and most of those came from Cam Newton. Their rushing game was like non existent. I don't know why they went away from it. They did, They they just had no offense for the most part. They, could, they weren't. They weren't generating it. It was really just a really strange game where. I know. Uh, how many would Cam Newton had two interceptions? That's um, that's not good. I think you know. I don't know if there was another fumble. On, uh, if he had. He had, I think there was two fumbles, and I think there was there was like three turnovers, something like that. Yeah, there was, so there was four total fumbles in this today's game. Oh my god! That's you know, so and they lost. Well, actually, there was not two. They lost one of them. Uh, but it, it, still, the, the, when you fumble the ball, even if you get it back, it kind of kills any momentum you, that you had. Uh, and their, their defense kind of kept them in this game. They kept obviously the Broncos from getting touchdowns. They held them to field goals, which is surprising because the Broncos were in the red zone many times. I think six times, seven times in the, the red zone. And the defense stopped them. And right the defense stopped. Which goes to show I me, mean, Devin's not offense is not that good this year. Uh, they, their quarterback, I just I'm not a big. I don't think he's really. Anything that any team has to really worry about, which is why they're they're two and three. The, the Patriots had a, had a really bad game today. I I don't know what. I think I think what happened. I think it's half on them and plus half with the, you know, with not the practicing for a few weeks. I mean they had, I think only like, two, technically, one and a half practices because they they have one fully on Friday then. Yeah. They had another one that was remote, and then they did some practices early Saturday morning before the game started. So, and all last week, not this week, but last week, they didn't have anything because with the cage, with the players <laughs> out, it was the NFL forcing to shut down the Patriots facility. And I just think that's why. But I mean, even if the players were all cleared, like if no one on the team yeah. had it, I think they should get the. The team like an extra week to you know get them back. To well, them. well, I think where where they already messed with the schedule so many times. I think that this game was supposed to be played. Wasn't this supposed to be last week? Two weeks ago. And so this game was already supposed to have been played. So to to keep moving the schedule, and you can only move it around so many times before you run out of, run out of weeks. I mean, I know you could probably push off one game, maybe two for each team. Yeah. I mean, not extending the week because you can't keep push the season out six, eight weeks of the additional keep messing with the schedule. I mean, this is kind of what the NFL is going to have to deal with because they're not playing in a bubble like, uh, like you know... Uh, the like, NBA, the NHL. Did, the NHL did. So I think they're just going to have to keep dealing with these people who were getting COVID. I think it's going to keep going on throughout the year because I don't think they're going to shut it down. I think they're just going to keep moving forward and do the best they can, but they're not going to keep shuffling the schedule around. They're just going to say, you know, if you've got players missing, you have players missing. As long as you, you can have enough people on the field that's all that really matters because with that you know they're gonna they lose too much money by not playing yeah. the players lose money when they don't play so nobody really wants to not play they just they're gonna continue mm. getting this this illness and i think it's gonna have an effect not just on the page on, on every team there's gonna be teams that are gonna they are gonna play poorly because they're missing status who get sick i mean there's been a lot of teams that is, should be good they just i mean kansas city was another kansas city just looks different this year they still are pretty dumb but they just don't look the same. I don't know if that has to do with COVID, if they're, you know, if they're yeah, it could injuries be or, or else. people getting sick. But every team is going through this, and I think it's going to affect any every team. Somewhere during the course of the season, there's going to be one game that one team is going to probably lose because they're missing significant amount of players or significant amount of practice time. Yeah. I just think that that's how it's going to be regardless of which team. Because obviously, like, football, it's, like you, it's really hard to create a bubble, you know, because... You have like twenty different teams. No, you have thirty teams. No, thirty two teams. Yeah, like something like that, something, and whatever it is. And you have so many players. You have so many staff members. 
And, like, you can't play all the teams in just one stadium. You would need to have, like, like four different, well, maybe not even four different stadiums, but a whole bunch of them. But in order to fit that all in one week, you would have to play every single night, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. But, like like I said, I think, I think we'll see some cases pop up here and there. But so far today, because obviously every team plays today, there wasn't any cases from any team today. We're the only ones so that have been dealing with it, but every team there hasn't been any signs of coronavirus from them, which is a good thing. But, you know, we can only, I mean, I heard the NFL is supposed to add a week 18 now because with all the changes. Yeah, like I know and, Tennessee had a ton, ton of people that was sick. So. But not anymore. But they came back after like having no, very little time and they, and they and they won, which is shocking to me. I didn't think they were they played fantastic that game back. I mean, um, unless, unless they did it all virtually or something. Let's say no you idea. have to be on the field of practice uh, to a certain extent. Oh, you can only do so much, you know, virtually. T- Tannehill in that game was phenomenal, even after he had you know time off. I know it was a practice that he got fined for, for practice with a handful of plays he shouldn't have. But he came and looked phenomenal in that game when he, the first game back. I know. Um, I I'm not sure if they won today, but that's a that's a different. What week we in? This is week six. Uh, let's see. This is the uh, now two and three. So I think, I think it's week. I think yeah, I think week six with the with the off games getting moved around. I don't know if this is week six or, or week seven. I don't recall. Where's their Where's their team right at? Do they win today? They are. I think it's week. Six. Yeah, they week did. Six. They won today, forty-two to. 36 against the Texans. Yeah, so, yeah. They, you they know, did so, win today. So, I think this is week six or one right now. Because uh, a lot of teams are two and three, five and oh, four and one. So, with the schedule being moved around, I kind of lost track of which exact week they're in yeah. right now. If they, I don't know. But the Patriots lost today, 16 to, I mean, 18 to 12. Ugh. They, you know, they gave kind of a good effort at the end of the game. But, they, again, turnovers is what killed them and, and just not getting the practice time. And it clearly, I, I think it showed I me. Mean, not to make excuse for the players, but when you're watching the game, you see how a team usually plays, and then watch how they play today. It just didn't look right. Something was wrong. Yeah. Um, they couldn't get out of their own way, and there were just too many mistakes being made. Even when, obviously, Belichick does the post-game press conference, I mean, he even said, he's like, he's like, you know, we just didn't play right. We made a lot of mistakes, and the practice time cut us off. And, you know, <clears> he's, <throat> like, he's, he's like, hopefully next week we can practice more and get back to it. So, I mean, I think that's probably why. Because, I mean, when you have a practice in such a long time, you know, you get all rusted up, and then it's like you sort of forget, like, yeah, how to play. You get a practice for the team you're about to play that. We can't have one practice and expect to do well. I know. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, just a bad week for the Patriots. It's good, it's good if you're a Denver fan. If you your team, team got another one, another day, what, what, two and three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, let's put your thoughts uh, down below in the comments. What do what you think about today's game? Um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap yeah. it up. Uh, again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Until next time.